So in the last video, we had connected up uh, these two different circuits, one that had a 5 volt signal that's switching on and off coming from some other circuit, and the other that had 5 volts coming from uh, just a regular power supply. And for some reason, the 5 volts coming from this power supply is, is making this LED much brighter than the 5 volts that's coming from this signal. And we were a little bit puzzled as to why that might be, because we, we measured both of these, and, and when we measured the, 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 the voltage coming uh, into this top circuit, we, we saw we had 5 volts when, uh, when, it, when it was on, we'd have 5 volts. And the bottom one, we have 5 volts. And we looked at the resistors, and the top resistor is 220 ohms. The bottom resistor is 220 ohms. So the voltages are the same, the resistors are the same, but for some reason, the LEDs are not the same brightness when, when they're both on. Um, and so if voltage is the same and resistance is the same, the next thing to kind of check out might be, might be uh, the current. Um, how many amps are actually flowing through this circuit? And so we can do that with our multimeter. We can, we can go ahead and uh, set it to measure amps. And I need to move the, the power lead over here. And so we'll go ahead and measure. We want to measure milliamps. Uh, we want DC. And so what, I, what we have to do to measure amps is actually put the ammeter in series with the circuit. So what I'll actually do is take the LED out of the circuit, out of both of these circuits, and I'll put the ammeter in place of where the LED was just to see how many amps were flowing through that part of the circuit where the LED was. So the LED was here, and what we see is that we either get about 0 amps or um, it looks like almost 0.3 milliamps. So when this is on, we get 0.3 milliamps. When it's off, we get zero. And it just seems to be switching back and forth between those two, which is, which is what we expect. We'd expect it to switch back and forth between uh, zero and, and some number of, of milliamps. Um, so it's switching back and forth between zero and 0.3 milliamps. So now let's come down here and see how many amps are flowing through this part of the circuit where this brighter LED was. And here we see... 23 milliamps. This is a uh, this is almost a hundred times the amount of current that was flowing through the top circuit when it was on. So we have 23 milliamps here, and the top circuit we had 0.3 milliamps. And so that that right there is basically the explanation of why the LED on the top circuit was so much less bright than the LED in the bottom circuit. And the voltage is the same, the resistance is the same, but the current is almost a hundred times less. And so the LED is, is much less bright. Um, and so the question is, what can we do about this? Um, so of course, at the bottom, we have plenty of current because this is a power supply. And power supplies are generally designed to be able to deliver a lot of current um, at, and, and maintain their voltage. Whereas this signal um, is, is really just trying to give us, I mean, it, it's hard to say what, what the signal is trying to do. But um, in this case, oftentimes, a signal will, will, will indicate you know, whether it's off or on with a voltage, um, but it may or may not allow you to draw a ton of current from it. So a power supply is designed to let you draw a ton of current. You know, a signal like this might not necessarily. So again, if we go back and look at the voltage here, when this is on, we're definitely getting, you know, over 5 volts. So the signal is, is using that 5 volt uh, potential to, to indicate whether it's on or off. So if I see 5 volts, then that's telling me this signal is saying on. If I see zero volts, the signal is saying off. But when I try to connect any kind of load, like this LED, to the signal, the LED tries to draw, you know, it needs to draw some current in order to light up. It, it wants to draw 20 milliamps, ideally. Um, but there's, there isn't 20 milliamps available. You know, this, this um, signal just can't provide 20 milliamps. It can only provide, you know, almost a you know, hundredth of that. And so, the LED ends up not being very bright. And when the LED does draw that much current relative to what this can provide, um, this can't even maintain the 5 volts anymore. And that's why we see the voltage is so much less. So the question is, how can we uh, use this voltage differential, somehow detect that there's a voltage change there, and still get current through the LED? Um, and the answer to that is an ingenious little component called the transistor, which you've probably heard of. And I have some transistors here. These are transistors. And hopefully you can see them down there. <clears throat> so these are transistors. And basically a transistor um, 
can be thought of in a couple ways. It can be thought of as a switch or a current amplifier. And don't worry too much if that doesn't make sense. In the next video, we'll go through how we can use a transistor basically to take this five volt signal, at least if we get the LED out of the way, it'll be five volts. How we can take this five volt signal that's turning on and off and use that to switch an LED on and off and have the LED be bright and have this five volt signal not be not be strained, not be dropping so much by putting the LED right, right in the circuit. So we're gonna use transistors to do that. And in the next video, we'll talk about how um, how the transistor is going to help us do that. And then we'll, we'll build it and, and see if we can get it to work.